If you needed a framework to build extensions for all major browsers that also works well with every popular JS framework, Plasmo hits the spot. What do you mean? <laughs> At the end of this video, we will create our own Chrome extension using React and Plasmo. Let's highlight some features first. Plasmo takes its name from the Australian TV show from the 90s. Or it doesn't. I don't know. This guy looks like a vagina. But in today's world, with Plasmo, you can create Next.js or React extensions with a Stripe, with Tailwind, with Ant Design, and 50 more. It supports live reloading to let you see instantaneous results from the changes you make. Injecting elements into the screen or content scripts are extremely easy to implement for all frameworks. And if one content script doesn't fill your mouth, I mean your needs, you can have multiple by putting them in a folder that is named Contents. Environment variables, tab pages, CSUI, and ability to import remote code are also worth mentioning. Alongside content script, you can have pop-up, new tab, option, and dev tools page. The only thing you need to do is to create a file with the page name that you want to create. Enough said about features, let's actually create our own extension. To start, run create plasma with your favorite package manager, then install the dependencies, build your project, so we have a build folder, which we get back to in just a minute, then open Chrome, go to the top right, then go to extensions, and click right here. Then again, at the top right, turn on the developer mode and you will see three new buttons appear on the screen. To add our own extension, click on load unpacked, then find your project and if your attention span still competes with goldfish, you would know that we should open the build folder. And again, because we can build extensions for all different browsers from a single code base, the folders are named accordingly. First the browser, then manifest version, and dev means it's a development build. Then select the folder that contains the manifest file and there you have it, you created the extension. Change the name and logo if you want and for more customizations head to the documents once you're done with the extension plasma has two other products for testing and deploying and if you had any problems regarding this video feel free to ask us on the very active discord server that we have i mean it's so active i can't even thank you for watching and may your paths cross again